So we're here on the west side of the river over um, in the Arts District and on this industrial area of Violet Street. That's Santa Fe Road right there. And um, you know, over there you can see the 7th Street Bridge. We're here on Violet Street and we're going to be looking at um, this property here. Here we're standing in front of um, this Excel Metals and um, I guess they, this property has been run for several years as a scrap metal yard and maybe a foundry but uh, this site has actually gone into a whole lot of disrepair recently because they are planning on trying to develop um, this lot in through here. Charlie here called me out to check out this property and um, you know to really see what's going on. So the story about this is that they are planning to put up on this property a um, multi-story office building and um, tomorrow um, they are planning to um, you know try to get you know pass through the um, exclusive you know development agreement um, you know to be able to you know do development on this project um, but without first doing a full environmental impact and um, plan for cleanup of um, this area which by the admission of um, you know the property owners that um, you know this is polluted with lead um, it's also polluted with chromium and um, also some other chemicals that are known to cause neurological damage and um, so I'm looking at the pit here looking at the pit here um, and I think that this was dug up when they you know first started um, you know looking into the environmental state of this property here but um, we really really need to get um, the property and the city to you know focus on you know creating an, a plan for an environmental cleanup um, before you go through with um, you know green lighting developments on these projects um, you know because really if you start green lighting projects ahead of time without taking in the, into account uh, plans for cleanup most likely it really will not be done um, now just across from here they're also planning to do a development of the lot across the street from here. It's already being prepared. Now this lot, I believe that they've already um, they've already started plans on um, addressing the environmental cleanup. As you see, there's the Seventh Street Bridge right there. So um, you know, hopefully, you know today. And, uh, you know, tomorrow we can get people from the community to call over to Councilman Wiesar's office um, and, uh, you know, demand that we have a plan for, you know, environmental cleanup. Um, I think this really, you know, hits me uh, very hard when I see that, you know, people don't take into account the, um, you know, the environmental impact is because when you build on a lot of these things without cleaning them up, you know, a lot of the people who are most hurt by, you um, you know, the pollution are the kids in our area. Um, you know, my sister at three and a half years old um, was diagnosed with um, ALL leukemia, which um, was most likely caused by um, the chemicals here in the surrounding area, specifically chemicals like benzene and stuff like that that were used as degreasers. We're just back behind, um, you know, what is um, basically the, the, you know, the train um, yards right off the Santa Fe Road, which for years, um, you know, was a central area of industrial, um, industrial work and um, was the main destination of um, the trains, the trains in the area before Union Station, the main train yards are right here off of Santa Fe Road, um, as well as the Ford plants. Um, so we have to take into account that this area um, for over a century has been used with a lot of industries, a lot of chemicals and um, you know, we really want to get this cleaned up. What a mess. So since we're right here, I want to talk a little bit more about this lot. Um, because um, this lot had actually been featured in some pictures um, um, 
Measure S proponents, you know, we're basically using about this site. Um, this project here, they're supposed to put up over 500 units. Um, 74 of them are supposed to be affordable housing um, units for this. But of course, um, you know, locals don't think that it's enough um, affordable housing, that um, we actually need more affordable housing units, um, you know, to be included in this project. Um, but this project I hear is not as, you know, far along in, uh, you know, the development. Um, so, you know, we should be hearing more about, you know, this site, you know, in the future. Um, but, um, you know, there's a, so much development that is just going on, you know, right here in, you know, this entire neighborhood. So, you know, we want to keep on top of it. Just to show how this property has really just deteriorated. What a mess.